Colombia has something that will please most travelers. From sandy beaches of the Caribbean and Pacific coasts to the Andes Mountains and the Amazon rainforests, its heritage reflects the culture of its indigenous peoples as well as the Spanish who began settling here in the early 15th century. A couple of decades or so ago, Colombia was not on the tourist map because it was not a safe place to visit. However, the government has worked hard to change that image, making it safer for travelers to enjoy the many features Colombia offers. Here's a look at the best places to visit in Colombia. Number 12. Via de Leva Villa de Leva may be a small town less than a four-hour drive from Bogota, but its Plaza Mayor is one of the biggest town squares in South America. It is now used as a gathering place for celebrations and festivals, such as the Onion Beauty Pageant. The architecture of Villa de Leva has been compared to Andalusia because of the white buildings with wooden trim and balconies. One of the town's most unique attractions is the Terracotta House. This clay structure is considered to be the largest piece of pottery in the world. Number 11. El Peñón de Huatapé El Peñón de Huatapé is a towering rock that soars out of the valley floor, weighing 10 million tons. Worshipped by the Tahamis for centuries, the rock became a major destination when the first known ascents were completed in 1954. Today, you can journey to the top of the giant monolith via a series of hair-raising staircases, admiring the postcard-worthy views along the way. The staircase follows the only crack in the otherwise perfect rock. After 649 steps, you'll look down on a veritable maze of lakes and distant islands. Number 10. Popayan Mostly known for its collection of colonial churches, the wonderful white city of Popayan is set in the southwest nestled away between various mountain ranges. Due to its strategic location and rich mines, countless beautiful churches have sprung up over the centuries, with the historic city still acting as Colombia's religious center today. While the city's churches are always a treat to take in, the best time of year to visit is Easter. This is when the Semana Santa celebrations take place, and thousands of people parade through the streets starting outside Iglesia Santo Domingo. Number 9. Salt Cathedral of Zipaquirá Just an hour's drive north of Bogota is Zipaquirá, a city known as the salt mining capital of Colombia. As a result of salt mining, Zipaquirá has long had a concentration of extreme wealth. One of the things that highlights this is the Salt Cathedral of Zipaquirá, which is a Catholic church constructed almost entirely of salt within a now-defunct mine. Although this is a major tourism destination, the Salt Cathedral actually accommodates nearly 3,000 parishioners every Sunday, and attending a church service can be an unforgettable experience. Number 8. Las Lajas Sanctuary Hidden in a canyon on the Guaitara River in Colombia, Las Lajas Sanctuary's gorgeous Gothic Revival-style architecture certainly makes for a magical sight. 
Built between 1916 and 1949, the spectacular sanctuary lies on a 130-foot high bridge that spans the river, with a beautiful waterfall twinkling beside it. Located not far from the Ecuadorian border, the church was founded following a miraculous sighting of the Virgin Mary and is now one of Colombia's most popular pilgrimage sites. Number 7. San Agustin While Colombia is blessed with lots of breathtaking scenery and nature, it also has more than its fair share of fascinating historic sites. One of the best to explore is the San Agustin Archaeological Park, which is located on the eastern foothills of the Colombian Massif, not all too far from Popoyan. The sprawling site contains a large number of pre-Columbian religious sculptures, monuments, and burial mounds. Its striking stone statues of human figures, smiling, and sneering monsters, as well as animals, are a treat to slowly wander around. Number 6. Medellin Throughout the 1980s and 1990s, Medellin was considered one of the most dangerous cities in the world, home to Colombia's infamous cocaine cartel. But when drug lord Pablo Escobar was snuffed out in 1993, Medellin began to bury its troubled past and rebounded tremendously. These days, the increasing number of tourists who come here find an inviting, modern city with one of the country's best climates. Be sure to pay a visit to Comuna 13, a neighborhood that transformed itself from crime-ridden to a thriving artistic hub. You'll marvel at the colorful murals gracing the walls, reflecting the resilience and warmth of the community. Number 5. Zona Cafetera Travelers who love their Java will definitely want to visit the Zona Cafetera, where almost half of Colombia's coffee crop is grown on the slopes of the Andes. The coffee farms welcome curious coffee lovers wishing to peek into how these exceptional coffee beans are grown. Hiking is another popular activity, specifically the Cocora Valley Trail. The tallest palm tree in the world can be seen on this route. There is also the town of Jardín, nestled in the center of Zona Cafetera. This quaint little town's cobblestone streets feature a welcoming atmosphere, brightly colored buildings, and cafes serving local delicacies. Number 4. San Gil Situated in the department of Santander, San Gil is notorious for being the adventure sports capital of Colombia. Founded in 1689, the town displays cobblestone streets, historic structures, and rich culture in one magnetic place. 
It has become a popular travel destination amongst backpackers, though it is not a crowded tourist spot. Nevertheless, Saint Gil offers plenty of activity and adventure. Bungee jumping is one of the most popular activities in Saint Gil, which is well known for its affordable pricing. Another hot activity in Saint Gil is whitewater rafting, which has one of the world's rarest opportunities to raft Class 5 rapids. Number 3. Bogota Bogota, sometimes referred to as the Athens of South America, was first settled by indigenous peoples, though the founding date is generally set at 1538 by a Spanish explorer. Today, the city is one of the largest cities in South America and Colombia's capital. Once considered a place to avoid, Bogota has cleaned up its act and is fast becoming one of the most popular destinations in Colombia. Located high in the Andes, Bogota has numerous attractions to entice visitors, including a gold museum, botanical gardens, and a thriving nightlife. The city's historic district can be found at La Candelaria, a pleasant quarter of cafes, churches, and museums. Number 2. Tirona National Park In the northernmost part of Colombia is the Tirona National Park, which borders the Caribbean Sea and offers remarkable beaches and scenery for visitors. One of the top spots in the park is the lagoon called La Piscina, where a natural reef turns the lagoon into a protected swimming area. There are also plenty of sandy hiking trails leading to and from the coast, many of which provide spectacular views over the Caribbean. Number 1. Cartagena Cartagena is the bustling city where Kathleen Turner's character Joan Wilder begins her Colombian adventures in Romancing the Stone. Hopefully travelers will get their visits off to better starts. Though this city is just as busy as when it was one of the key Caribbean ports from the 16th to 18th centuries. Fought over by various countries, Cartagena was one of the most heavily fortified cities in South America. These fortifications can still be seen today. Travelers should take time to wander through the colorful old town, with its colonial architecture that includes museums, palaces, and churches. <music> 